Hey there, today we're hanging out at the KSLT studios here in Rapid City with John Derrick, an on-air personality who's been in the community many years. So thanks Long for joining time. us. <laughs> Long time. So first of all, just t give me a little bit of background about yourself. September 15th of 1969, I got my uh, FCC radio broadcast license. Okay. So that's when I considered that I, I got into the business of radio. Okay. So this last September 15th, that would be 53 years that I've been doing radio. Wow. I told everybody I started when I was two. <laughs> that is a long time, and obviously we can tell in your voice, you know you have that robust sort of, they called it in the day, radio voice. 1071 KSLT, let's see if we got anything going on in our uh, community calendar. All right. God given <laughs> gifts, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah. And I've been at this radio station now for 36 years as of September 1st. Wow. At KSLT. That is amazing. Yeah. And then this station came on the air in 84, and I came over here September 1st of 1986, and I've been here ever since. So I have to ask, what keeps you in the business? I love being on the radio. Mm. I'll never fully retire unless they throw me out. <laughs> I just love being on the radio and talking. Mm -hmm. I just wish I got paid by the word. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. What has been one of your most favorite experiences in this industry? You know, if you had to pick one or two. Basically, it's my voice gives me away and I, even after all these years I forget about it mm. and I'll be in Safeway or somewhere <laughs> shopping and talking to people and all of a sudden I notice everybody's looking at me and it's like, oh, that's Good. right. And just, just the recognition of people coming up going, hey, you know, I grew up listening to you on, on KKLS and I got to tell you this story. Mm -hmm. Those types of stories are what really, really, really inspired me. Okay. Because when you're on the radio, you never know. Mm -hmm. you, you say this, you say that, you mm -hmm. do this, you do that, you think. And all of a sudden, uh, somebody comes up to you and says, you know, that changed my life. Mm. Or that really impacted me or that really helped me. Mm. And those types of things really, really impressed me. What would you say your personality is on air? Like, do you talk about your personal life or? Yeah, I think most people know everything about me that I never cook at home. I eat out all the time <laughs> and I'm uh, divorced. I'm not married. I've got mm -hmm. uh, three kids mm -hmm. and my daughter and I run around and do a lot of stuff. So, so I, I share a lot of that. And so talk about your recent induction into the South Dakota Hall of Fame. Well, and that's pretty much based on my days at KKLS Radio. Okay. When, I, when I first got here in 1971, there were only five radio stations in Rapid City. And KKLS pretty much brought rock and roll to the area. Mm -hmm. So, and I was the program director of that radio station. Oh. So that's what got me uh, introduced and then inducted into the South Dakota Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, I was gonna say, how did you feel when sort of they gave you the call that said you were inducted? I was uh, very humbled mm -hmm. uh, and after a while, it was like, well, after 53 years, I, this is finally paying off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I think that's all I have for you today. So thanks so much for joining oh, us. Oh, you're welcome. Glad you could uh, come over and do this. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course.